this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. And you know, another scripture you put down here too, this is one in uh, Matthew 22. In Matthew 22, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, we, he, when they had the wedding, and we're gonna talk more about it in the Bible study, but in the wedding, he uh, said the people didn't want it, the people he invited when, didn't come to the wedding. So Jesus sent the people out to the highways and byways. Uh, and let me see the verse right here. Oh, glory to God. Let me see here. Where is it? Where are you? Verse 10. Matthew 22, verse 10. And he said, So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. What did he come He went to do? He went to get the good, the bad, and ugly. He went, to get, he went to get those people. He didn't sit there and say, oh, let's go get the good people. Let's go get the good people. Mm -mm. He said, I want you to go get the good and the bad. Because that's what the gospel is about. He's trying to pull people in. He's not trying to uh, be cherry picking. So if you've got problems with somebody go clubbing or dancing or whatever you want to call it, whatever thing you're thinking. Now, right, don't forget, Jesus said, I want that person, I want that person to come to me. The gospel says, if he be lifted up, he'll draw all men, good and bad, amen. So that's what you want to make sure. And that, that, that matter of fact, this, that particular Matthew 22, even he started off in the uh, verse 2, he said, the kingdom of heaven is likened to a certain king which made a marriage for his son. So this parable is a heavenly principle. And in a heavenly principle, God is sending out his servants. You are a servant. You that are not a servant, God bless you. You'll be a servant one day, if the Lord's willing. <laughs> Hallelujah. But servants of God are supposed to go out to the highways and byways, pull the good and the bad, and let them come to Christ. And let the Holy Spirit work with them. Amen. So that's why I'm excited about the gospel. It's easy. Hey, I ain't got to sit there and play ordinance of man or whatever. I just need to go ahead and trust in the Lord. So I hope you enjoyed this part. And I even got a part D. And I'll be glad to sit there and put those together and send them out as well. Hey, God bless you. And keep your prayer. Watch out for that virus. Amen. God bless. Bye bye. <clears throat> and then we need to tell the people that call themselves non-believers hey look god is not putting you down i'm not putting you down and Amen. i'm not i'm not telling you if you want to relax yourself it's whatever you like if some people like to play everybody jack some people like nfl football and they go to the game and they try to enjoy themselves and it may be on a mm -hmm. sunday sorry that's what happened but it's not to put them down because they do those things is all i'm trying to say and and I know Brother Jack used to dance a little bit. He probably used to do all the fast movements, didn't you? Back in high school, did you know how to do them, brother? <laughs> oh man, hey, yes sir, yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. Well, look, I'm gonna keep on. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on reading here. He said both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Now look at this, y'all. <laughs> Verse eleven, Elder. When the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man. Yeah, Brother Jackson, I want you to catch you say he saw what? How many people did he see? He got, he came into the wedding, right? And he saw a man. Are you with me? He saw a man, which was which had not a wedding garment. And it said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And the man was speechless. Now that's because he's in heaven now, right? Then he said to the king, then said the king to his servants, Bind him hand and foot, take him away, and cast them into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Brother Jackson, verse 14 says, 
for for many are what? Are called. And but what? You are children. Okay. Who? You are who's a few? You know, it's a. <laughs> I think the few, well, few, well, let's play with this. Go ahead. Is the few that are chosen. Many are called into the kingdom of heaven, but very few who arrive who don't have on the garments are actually cast into the outer darkness. Is that, my, is that correct? Yeah. So, so how many go to heaven? Well, it's, it's an innumerable amount. We can't, based on what we read earlier, right? We, we, we really can't. I can't. I can't fathom the number. So when he said many are called, a few are chosen. Few are chosen for what? To go into darkness. Ah, you got it. <laughs> you, you heard that, Chris? That, there you go. There are few are called to go into darkness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he used this parable, he said he called as many bad and good to Amen. come to the wedding. And then Amen. when he got to the wedding, he saw a man. How many is an a man in there? How many a man are we talking about? How many? When, when I say a man, how many? I'm talking about one person. Single. Amen. <laughs> I like that. Amen, right? That's right. He, he, one person out of the good and the bad. One person, Elder. One. Was chosen. Because he didn't have the white robes on. We talked about before the throne of God, Chris. See, you going to stick. Hey, look. You, Hey, look, you think about it. If you go into a multitude of people and, and everybody got on white and you come in with, I don't care, you come in, hey, Chris, you come in with purple, you come in with black, you come you in. Stand <laughs> you you going to stand out. You're going to stand out. You stand out. Yeah, you well, must. I, I think one of the things you look at was that how, how did they get their robes white in the first place? Well, are you. Oh, the the, 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 the the rose were painted white by the blood of the lamb. It was Jesus. It was Jesus that that, paid, that made those rose white. He was covered by the blood of Jesus. Good or bad? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on now. It was good or bad. Amen. And that's what he's trying to tell us, man. He said, y'all sitting there trying uh -huh. to get white by yourself. You can't. <laughs> you can't. The only way, the only access we have is him. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think that, you know, one of the things that I'm not sure if this scripture actually alludes to that, but there we talk about the different religions, you know, that people have and whether they can get to heaven through those religions, uh, through those people, whether it's Buddha or... You know, Harry Krishna or Mohammed, if this is the path or not, but this scripture kind of indicates that nobody's going to actually get in. Right. When you go to battle without the other than the blood of the Lamb. Come on, bro. This is the to, to, to heaven. Uh -huh. So he got there, he might have put his, his Buddha clothes on. Uh huh. Or he, or he might have his, 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 uh, his, his Mohammed clothes on. Come on. He might have worked his way to the door. But the question was when he got there, so how did you get in here? How'd you get in? You got <laughs> Cause I think the problem is because <laughs> you, you remember he said the scripture said that your righteousness, Chris, your righteousness is like filthy rags. Filthy rags. Filthy rags. Yes, and, sir. So and, 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 and the problem I find out is that you got the you got the the believers trying to put you trying to put put you put on fifty rags make you put on fifty rags by doing it by the law, right? And then you got the the people that that got dirty rags in the first place. They mad because you come, Chris. They mad because you ain't coming in dressed right. They know they got a fit. They know they 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 said they ain't got any rags on. 
and you coming in here with some with some white clothes on. Why you coming in with some white clothes? We don't want you in here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, bro. Right yeah. yeah. They say you got mm-hmm. the devil. Look, and it's interesting when they talk about John the Baptist being eating and eating no dragon, and they call look at it. They call him a devil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. The world calls you a devil. <laughs> Just because you don't do what they do. I, I think also the scripture that scripture kind of, you know, uh emphasizes the preeminence of Christ and the necessity of having him. Because yes, he's the only one that can actually wash your world white. Come on now. His robe white in the blood of the Lamb. Jesus is the only access to heaven. Come on. He is the only access to the to the presence of the Father. So he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to the Father but by me. But by me. So that kind of excludes your good works. Exactly. Because it says, it says, you get the good and the bad and bring them in. The only person that was chosen to get kicked out was the one that didn't have his the right clothes on. He had the right clothes on. He had, his, his, his robe had not been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Come on, brother. And so he was excluded. He was excluded from the king. He was kicked out. Yeah. So there is, and this scripture really emphasizes how important, how futile it is for you just to try to get in any other kind of way. You can't work your way in. You, you can't, can't work your way in. Nope. You can't. You have to come through Christ. God to accept him as Lord. And that, that's that's the only way we make it. And then you try to sit Man. there, you try to do the law, and, and he said it. No, nope. you if you sin at one point in the law, you you sin in there all the law, right? And that's the problem why we can't fulfill the law. I got another one for you. Chris, here's a good one for you. Ready? I'm ready. All right. This is this is Matthew chapter two. Oh, excuse me, Mark chapter two. Starting okay. in verse thirteen. Let, yeah. me, let, me, let me get to it. Let me get to it. All right. Now I got it on the screen too. Can you, can you see it? No, I'm, I'm trying to pull it up on my on my on my screen so I can read it. Hey man, I see you got no glasses on over there. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> you ready? You got it? I'm ready. Hey, I'm I ready. Won't start the beginning. No, I did it. Verse thirteen. Verse what? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, I got you. You want me to read it? Or you gonna read? And when they, I got you. I got you. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, is that, is saying, that, is that, "Arise, is that Mark? And take the young." Is that Mark? So hey, Chris. Is that Mark? See, marvelous. That's Mark. Okay, okay, wrong, wrong, my bad. I'm on Matthew. And that's all, and that's all right, look. Hold on, let's go, Mark. Why, why he's doing that, that reminds me how people sometimes back in world changes, y'all. We told the people to turn to a certain chapter, and, 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 and they stopped. You know, when the pages yeah. were turning, Chris, this is when the days we had the book. We had the uh, apps, right? <laughs> and, and all the pages was turning. Okay. And then when people stop turning pages, they everybody who wasn't there yet, they stop turning pages. And they'll be, oh, yeah. be reading another scripture. I got Mark, I got Mark 2 now. All right. Mark 2. And again, he entered and found them that sleep and said unto him, Lord, after some days, and it was not knowing that he was in the house. Now read, read in verse 13. Away, many were gathered. Start at 13. 13? Yeah. My ears clogged up, so I'm on Corona guy. <laughs> I don't let him do that happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. All right, all right. This is 13. Mark 2 and 13. And he went forth again by the seaside. Yes, sir. Good now? Yes, sir. Okay. By the seaside, for the multitude resorted unto him. And he taught them. And as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Aphelus. 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 At the receipt of custom. Yes, and sir. he said unto him, Me, 
and he arose and followed him. It came to pass that as Jesus sat at meat in the house in his house, publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples. But there were many. They followed him. Yeah, Chris, they were doing some meat. They ain't that meat though, Chris. They ain't that, they, yes, I, sir. I'm going to call that the hot wings, Brother Jackson. They ain't no hot wings. Exactly. And they got some crabs. And they got some shrimp. Yes, sir. Come on, brother. Yes, sir. I'm with you. <laughs> hot dogs and hamburgers. Come on now. <laughs> no. You, you still had it wrong, though. Lobster and shrimp. Oh. They got shrimp. <laughs> 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 Now, now, what happened? What happened when he did that? Because it sounded like he was at a, he, they was they was enjoying their fellowship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now, what what the religious okay. people had to say about that? Go ahead. Okay. When the up with the buffeters, <laughs> and when the scribes and Pharisees, <laughs> come on when now, the scribes and Pharisees <laughs> saw him eat with the publicans. And sinners. You talking about the people at the least? You talking about the people to his stop. Hey Chris, you talking about the people that went to the Legion Club? You talking about the people that went to the discotheque? Yes, sir. Are you talking about the, you ain't talking about the people that had a, a party, a barbecue party? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it was sitting there. But my, my funny thing is before we even get to that, why are they there? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh huh. Hey, cause they came and they took their seat. This was wrong. They showed up, didn't they? Hey, look, Craig. They paid their little money to get in too. <laughs> yes, sir. Hmm. And they said unto his disciples, "How is it that he eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners?" Now, 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 Chris. We already recognize that drinking. Now, what kind of drink they talking about? They ain't talking. Are they talking about water? <laughs> oh, hey, you talking about that wine again. You talking about that wine again. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. No, 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 let me ask a question right here. Now, is the issue east? Is it the people he with? So, if I was with being me, you know, I'm yep. finna throw bats in there as a Right. I guess it's all right to go to the strip club if I'm with my people. Uh huh. Drinking the wine, and and yes, they, when, when they invited Jesus to his house, they gave him wine yes, to drink. Sir. So yeah, like they, I said, they, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my question is: is it the, is it the place? Is it what you're doing, or is it the people you with? It's the people you are with. What? <laughs> That's the bottom line. If you're not, if you're not a, and, and look, and it goes both ways. What I'm trying to say. Both groups are saying the same thing, Chris. You got the religious people to sit there and say, you don't believe hang with those people. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but then you got the people who call themselves not religious and they say uh -huh. they said the same thing. What are you sitting there eating with yes, us sir. for? You supposed to be going yeah, back yes, there. Yes, sir. You probably hang with Alan Johnson. You don't be hanging with what are you hang with us for? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. That's my point I'm trying to say. I'm saying both groups try to ostracize you. Or yeah, tell you yeah. to conform to them. Like I said, once again, another way to disqualify you. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. another way. But I'm saying but, I'm saying, what I said. Go ahead. but I'm saying I'm saying make sure you understand that goes both ways. There, there's groups yes, that sit there that that call themselves publicans and sinners. When you come in there to hang out with them, they expect you to either be like John or go home. <laughs> yes. 
Cause they don't say they don't say why are you fellas why are you fellowshipping with us? Because you're supposed to be you 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 supposed to be good at two shoes. Yep. So I'm saying to say that's the only place I want to throw out there, guys, for the day is that some people try to go both ways. You you got both groups trying to say you well you don't, I, you don't want to be with us, so we don't want you to be with us. That's what they're trying to say. They're saying the church people don't want to hang with us. The church people rejected us. The church people got problems with us being a public in, in a center. They rejected us, so therefore, why would you come hang with us? Why would you come? Like you, say, go ahead. Like I say, it goes into that next verse. Like I said, and when Jesus heard it, he said unto them, they that are whole, no need of the physician, but they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but the sinners to repent. Amen. And basically, with that one right there, I look at it as, like you say, I don't need go. Like I will use like this coronavirus thing. It's going on right now. <laughs> as long as I'm like, like you said, if, if I'm okay and I have no symptoms. I don't need to go out there, get a mask, put all this stuff on, because right now, I'm fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> if I'm like, yeah. if, if, but like you said, if I'm showing the symptoms or the signs, yeah, I need to get all this stuff. Yes, sir. And like you said, Jesus is going, like you said, I don't need to go out there and talk to the righteous or the preacher. Like you said, why do I need to preach to the Pope? The Pope already know all the words. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I think one of the things. Hey, that Bobby. He's, Go ahead. Check it out. I, I, just, so, I can he, see some uh, people doing, uh, I can see some comments on live stream. Up. Go ahead. The thing that he was he was saying, Jesus, all of them had the coronavirus, to include the scribes and the Pharisees. There was no righteous among them. Right. On the crowd was they perceived themselves to be righteous, then they judged themselves as righteous, and they thought themselves better than the people that he was hanging with. <laughs> yeah. The issue was they were all jacked up. So <laughs> Jesus said he didn't come for the sick. I mean for the well, but for the sick. Right. They all were sick, except <laughs> the ones because the sinners knew they were sick. The scribes and the Pharisees were going on the their own righteousness. Yeah. They perceived that they to be well, but as Jesus saw them, he knew all of them needed help. I mean, who, who among us didn't need salvation? To be honest with me, Come who, on. who didn't have to repent? Come on, bro. So, so Jesus, Jesus was actually taking a shot at them because he, he was, I mean, I think he was taking a shot he at them. He, like, he did. He did. Because he knew they were jacked up. He did. They were jacked up just like the rest of them. And that's the same thing with us. We may drive the best cars, we might put on the suits, we got the collars and all that stuff like that, but a lot of us, most of us, <laughs> ain't no better than the, the guy that's standing on the corner out there. You know, or, or, <laughs> if we look at the film to the prophet used to say we better than them, in reference to the Lord Jesus Christ, our good works are still the filthy rags. Filthy rags. There is one, one way to get in the house, and that's if you get your, your road washed in the blood of the lamb. Come on. So describe the Pharisees taking to the we're headed for the same hill <laughs> that they judge the public as the sinner to go to, to, be, to be headed for. Exactly. There's none right Not one. <laughs> Not one, brother. They didn't know. Yeah. Not one. And so I think one of the issues became not who Jesus was hanging with. Uh -huh. But who was hanging with but who was hanging with Jesus. Come on. And Jesus was the point. Come on. When he walked through the house. Was the one with the entourage. Come on. He wasn't hanging with nobody. Come Everybody on. was hanging with him. Come on. And if they wouldn't hang with him, Woo. he was jacked up. He, I think that was the point. Like, y'all over there, <laughs> you gonna make it. You think you got it going on, but they hanging with me, just like when the when the woman was sitting out on the feet. Yeah. Mark Mary said, Mark, you, you worry about a lot of things, but your sister chose the better thing. She hanging out with me. She, she kept on feet. Come on. You need to be in the same place. That kind of showed the preeminence of the Lord Jesus Christ, man. We can't, we, we can't do nothing without him. We can't. And like I said, I like what the fact is said. And, and we hang out. Instead, Chris, you said it last week. The fact is, some people sit there and say, I think you were saying is that 